Katie's in trouble. Ooh. Ooh. Katie's in trouble. <laughs> on a scale of one to ten, if you're in the hot seat, how much on fire is your bum bum? Oh, it's melted. <laughs> <laughs> what did you do? I didn't do anything. Mm-hmm. That's how all your stories start. Maybe. Okay. Uh-huh. Maybe I right, so do something. Before you tell everybody the infraction, mm-hmm. or at least the infraction that your lady feels is an infraction, give us the history of your current relationship. Okay, so for the past, like, couple of months I'm I've been dating a woman and we're currently in a long distance relationship so it's not like I get to see her all the time but we talk all the time and we're still kind of in that honeymoon phase and it's all like the lovey-dovey thing and it's great and didn't she just surprise you like didn't she just come into town and like surprise you with your all's like first like Face to face? Yes. So like our first face to face, she set it up. She reached out to my friends and she tricked me. I thought it was just going to be a weekend without her. And she tricked me and was like, nah, I'm going to see you. And ever since then, we've tried to come up with our schedule of when's the best time to see each other because long distance is already hard. Mm -hmm. So like this past weekend, I saw her this past weekend Uh and things have been going well. So you went to go see her this past weekend? Yes. I went to go see her. And then um, I got into our first little conflict. Oh, no. Mm, That's always fun. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) Let's talk about it. Mm. (laughs) So at the end of last week, our social media producer, Rebecca, posted a post on the Burt Show's page, right? And it was a, a... basically a trending TikTok trend, right? Mm -hmm. That has some song and it's her and I doing a dance together. And the caption read what, Rebecca? The caption read, when it's Friday and you're not going to see your work wife until Monday. Now, for those who don't know, Rebecca and I, we work in the same studio. Like we're really close. Like that is my work wife. Mm -hmm. Babe, (laughs) baby. Okay. Oh, it's not helping. Yeah, you're not helping. Hey, everyone, wrong way. What is happening? She's gonna kill me now. She's gonna kill me now. (laughs) So that was posted, and under there, Rebecca made her comment. My wife in Borat voice, and I commented back. I was like, "The best work wife I could ever ask for." Not thinking anything of it. The weekend goes by. Like, it's been days since this video has been posted. And then yesterday, I get a text. And the text reads, and mind you, this text is from my girlfriend. And it says, I saw your quote unquote work wife post. Mm -mm. Or she put work wife in quotations. Yeah. (laughs) We are going to have to talk about that later. Mm. (gasps) The old we need to talk later. Okay, and... uh you talked about it later? Yeah, we did. You didn't know your phone in the river? No. <laughs> <laughs> I tried. Like, so when I get a text like that, and the thing is, I got this text during work. So I'm already anticipating like, oh my gosh. And it's going through my head of how bad this is going to be. My nerves are on edge. I hate texts like that, especially when you can't address it right then and there. And you're just building it up all day long. Like, how bad is this going to be? What is she going to say? So hours go by. I call her. And I'm not trying to talk about this. So I'll talk about everything else. How's your day going? How's work been? <laughs> You're avoiding it? <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'm big on avoiding stuff like this uh-huh. because I hate conversations like this. And I already have knots in my stomach and I'm an overthinker. So I think worst case scenario about everything. So I avoid it. I would ask you if you're a confrontational person, but sometimes I feel those questions are better asked of the best friend. Mo, would you consider Katie confrontational? Anything but. Anything but. She's okay. a Pisces. She's an escape artist. Oh. <laughs> uh-huh. mm-hmm. Now, in your girlfriend's defense, if my husband were to post a video with his work wife and have the cutesy comments, I would definitely have feelings about it. Not the fact that he had a work wife, but that there was this fun banter going on publicly. That they're flaunting it. Yes. But if he doesn't really work the same, like I have a work wife, it's our business manager, Amy, and we joke about it. My husband knows, but I wonder if it's a little different because she and I are both straight. Mm-hmm. Whereas mm. there might be like, I know Rebecca, you come out and said you're bi, Katie, you're a lesbian. Is it because that you guys could be theoretically compatible, even though I don't think there's anything sketchy going on? So you're saying there's a chance. I'm not saying there's a chance. He's just making it worse. It's worse. It's worse. No, I'm just trying to point out. It's worse. 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 It's wor
<laughs> you guys are super professional and you're just friends. But I'm saying from the perspective of an outsider girlfriend who maybe doesn't know Rebecca very well, doesn't know your dynamic in the office, is Rebecca perhaps a threat? Because Rebecca is stunning and her hair looks on fire right now. I looked I busted in that TikTok, <laughs> which is so funny. And I have seen Katie's girlfriend and she is gorgeous. So I do take this as a comment that she uh, she's seen my inherent sexuality. <laughs> she, uh, she finds me uh, attractive maybe Riddle in some me, way. Riddle me this, Rebecca. Mm-hmm. Does Katie's girlfriend finish her sentences like you do? Oh, oh wow. In this room. <laughs> wow. Wow, Tommy. Maybe in it, Swiss, I'm, whispering sweet nights to each other, Tommy. <laughs> Hey. I'm, just, I'm just saying, Katie got a big thing of flowers yesterday. I didn't know it was was it from her girlfriend or was it from Rebecca. I didn't know. Were those flowers what? for you? Yeah, those things were massive. I didn't know. Dude, <laughs> I could so smell them in the lobby. This dude came through the door carrying these big flowers. I mean, they were gigantic. They were massive. And and he just goes, uh, yeah, the Burt Show. And I was, and I pointed him to the reception area. And I'm thinking, oh, we just come out with the Kylie Minogue interview. I'm thinking Kylie Minogue's people sent the bird show flowers for the interview. They were for Katie. Yeah. <laughs> so your girlfriend sent them? Yeah, she so, sent them. So you guys must be, okay, so we, we're jumping all over the place. First, how did the conversation go? The conversation went a little bit better than I initially had expected. But she was a little too calm for me. It was, hey, I know we haven't addressed this before, but this whole work-wife situation thing, Like, where do you stand with that in the office? And this is how I feel about it. She's like, that's something that can make me uncomfortable. Like, she says that she hates it when people use that term Mm -hmm. with, like, people that that they work with. She's like, I I hate that type of thing. And she's like, I didn't know that you and Rebecca were that close. And I'm like, well, now you know. (laughs) (laughs) Did the flowers get sent after the conversation? Yeah, because they just... Sure. Interesting that they got sent to the office where Rebecca happens to be. Flexed on them. (laughs) <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's a definite. What are like, you doing? You are making things worse. Yeah, that's the last set of flowers well, you're getting. Why Katie. would I? Do? <laughs> <laughs> I it's hope very they're still alive. Obvious, like why she could send them to Katie at home, or she could send them to work to be like Rebecca. She's got a girl. <laughs> so I did get these flowers after she had sent me that text, and that's what I thought, Cassie. It's a way to be like I'm always watching. Mm. I know where you work. <laughs> that's her way of peeing on her territory. <laughs> yes. Yeah. And you saw how big yeah. those things I mean, were. Yeah. I said you I smelled them. them. Flowers. I want someone to pee on my territory when I'm on those flowers. Like well, that, I, that was heavy. I don't I don't even think I can I, that is the biggest floral arrangement I have ever seen. She's it was playing. huge. She's got to like you because that costs some money. Yeah, my mom saw him. She's like, what have I been doing wrong my whole life? <laughs> <laughs> Full just, I'm like, God, did somebody die? All right, well, okay. for now, I've bounced back. Okay, you bounced, obviously, because of the flowers, even though that seemed to be more of a territorial move than anything, but <laughs> you and your lady are good. Yes. And yes. you and Rebecca are no longer kissing each other goodbye every day. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> The Burt Show.